I wanted to end this episode on scannability with some tips on improving scannability because a lot of the feedback that we've gotten in previous episodes is just like, love the topic. Like, what can we do as designers yeah. to like, you know, fix these things? So there's a few that I have and then I'll, I'll kick it over to you and then we can wrap up this episode. Yeah, sure. But so some tips on improving scannability. I think number one, prioritize the content with a visual hierarchy. So basically, you know, arrange and organize the content on the page, which is the most natural for human, like, you know, for human perception. So a lot of this might be like, you know, looking at the size, the color, the contrast, the proximity. The other thing that I would really be cautious of is the negative space. Like that can be really helpful in, you know, making sure that titles uh, pop out. You can put the core navigation in the website header. Uh, on mobile, I'm a big fan of bridge of actually dropping scannability also works for navigation. So I like the on, I love when apps and mobile websites bring the menu down closer to the thumbs. I'm a huge fan of that. We don't see it as much cause everyone's used to the hamburger menu and the menu up top. But I think that's, you know, something else is like really making sure that the navigation reflects what the user's goals are. There's a ton of good examples, but keeping that clear, uh, I, I mentioned negative space, but this is also called white space. Uh, it's the area yeah. or the layout, which is empty. So not only around the objects in the layout, but you're also between them and inside them. So negative space is kind of like the breathing room for all of the objects on the page or the screen. So really make giving that, you know, as much thought as possible. My last one is just, you know, check the CTA is at least seen at once. So, you know, a lot of web pages are aimed in particular to complete an action. So just making sure that they're clear, they're easy to see, and they're like accessible is the other thing that makes, I think these are just other things they'd be thinking about, um, you know, from from a uh, scannability. So I think scannability also goes a lot of hand, in hand with accessibility in, in yeah. a lot of ways. So those are, those are mine, but any, any tips that you have? Well, the one that came to mind was, um, you think about accessibility in screen readers, like one thing that's done in print is to make the scannability of an article in a magazine clearer. They'll do pull-out quotes. Um, the problem with pull-out quotes is what it does is it the uh, screen readers will read the, the text twice, basically, because they read the pull-out quote, and then in the article they'll read it again. And so this right. pull-out quote sort of thing, I don't think it really works on the web. Like on a magazine, it's like it's, you open it, say you're on an airplane, and you open it, and it's there to sort of like maybe be slightly controversial to pull you in, or there's something that's in there that's like, oh... I want to, and then you want to sort of find it straight away so it forces you to read the whole article and it like entices you in that doesn't really work well on the web especially the way that we read um top to bottom so i'd, I'd be very careful about that um in terms of content type just like if, if the article you're writing is a how-to do a concise box in the front like if this is tips to make something or do something like especially like technical things like you just want to get a person just wants to copy and paste like just how do I make something in Photoshop? Bang, bang, bang. Like te yep. tips. You can go in and do much more um, an explanatory thing underneath it, but just really quick um, it is really useful if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, so like bullet points, headers, um, bold, embolden things. Make sure the font size is larger than 14 pixels or 14, like, yeah, because it's like anything below that, people struggle. Make sure the color contrast is um, considered. Uh, because you know people will struggle uh, as well and like characters per line as well make sure that the type that you choose um, allows for like more words otherwise if something's like a narrow paragraph in it, it, uh, what they call the widows like it, it become really really obvious so yeah um, yeah those are those are those are spot on yeah and, and and also know that in the same way that as you as a digital designer that's a skill writing is a skill so work with the writer is probably the, like in the same way of research it like i can research ryan can research but if you really want to get an expert and you want it to be yeah. really valuable that's when you have to like it's the thing of like you, we could all fudge it together but there's the line between good and great is the great has the people who focus on these things um, yeah no it's brilliant i think that's awesome it's awesome feedback so i'm sure this will be a topic we revisit but um, yeah, scannability, the check, experience. <laughs> yeah, the, the fudged experience hashtag. Um, but yeah, follow us on Instagram. Uh, let us know what topics you want to hear. We're going to start bringing on some friends and guests from various industries and interviewing them and getting their thoughts on some of these topics. But, um, thanks for tuning in today's episode and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.